So I just got a package from uh, Kitty or Chidi or however you say it. Uh, I emailed them because my chamber heater stopped working after the first 24 hours. So they sent me a new chamber heater. Uh, I got a new nozzle. I think there's something different about this nozzle than the included one that has a ceramic heat break or something. Some screws. And then this box has some instructions. And there's some tools. This is a new control board for the chamber heater. So I guess there was some problem with the solid state relay that controls the 120 AC voltage to the heater burning out. So maybe that's what happened to mine. But anyways, this is the replacement control board. So those are the instructions for swapping in the new board for the old one. I guess that's the same on both sides. Let's see, I suppose that's a cover of some sort. And some hand tools and some more screws. So let's get over to the printer and open that up and try to swap these parts in. So let's try turning the chamber heater on to 60. So here's what happens. The fan, see how it tries to spin? And it just stops. So it'll do that for a little while. And then this display will throw an error, which I don't know how long it'll take here. Okay, so there's, there's the error I was getting. So it looks like something's overheating, which, so maybe the, maybe the heater in that unit is is working but the fan is not so it it immediately overheats so let's uh, change that out all right so far I've managed to get the old chamber heater out you do need to have the bed all the way raised in order to get it out so I had to turn the machine back on just to do that and there are actually two screws on the bottom of this thing those two holes There's yeah, two screws. Um, and you had to, I had to go from underneath the unit to find them, so that was interesting. And I also got the back off, which had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus the 4 in the corner, 16 screws. And interestingly, there were... To hold that panel on, there's at least three different kinds of screws. Phillips heads, hex wrench, Allen wrench, and then there was just this one random different size screw, which is really curious because clearly it didn't belong with the rest. Someone would have had to reach for a different wrench just to put that different screw in. So instead of saying, oh, I've got the wrong screw in my hand, they, they went and grabbed a different wrench so they could just stick it in there. So that was fun. And this thing, uh, even when you get all the screws out, it's still really hanging on. And there's these, these latches here, one on each side, that go into this square thing. So you kind of have to pry it off. And you can actually reach your hand from around the back and push on it if you know it's there, but I mostly just pried from this side, which, yeah, left a nice little mark in there, but. Okay, I have managed to wrestle the chamber heater control board out of there. This is the solid state relay everyone's talking about, and it's harder to see on mine, but it's definitely melted. Like, you can see the plastic is distorted, so I think it's dead. So I'm gonna swap this out for the new one. I'll put it all back together and then I'll take some more video. All right, I've got the new board in there, new cover on, did the wiring just like it showed in the photo. I've got it powered back on. I didn't want to put the cover back on yet, but I do have the chamber heater running and it's blowing warm air. So it's working more than it was working before, so. 
I think I'll go ahead and put it all back together and then try running a print. All right, I've got it all put back together. I've got the chamber heater running. It's blowing warm air. I only lost a couple screws and I only stripped a couple screws, so not bad. A lot of the screws are going into like sheet metal or, or just going into plastic and so they're just, they just strip really easily. I've got all my old parts here, which I now have to keep in a box forever. And let's see, the, the whole printer is currently drawing, it's almost 400 watts, so I think that's supposed to be a 400 watt heater. I feel like this power draw is lower than it was before. I don't know if they lowered the wattage on the heater at all to try to ameliorate their, uh, their melting, making smoke problem, but it looks like we're up and running again. So hopefully this video was helpful. There's probably better ones out there, but I thought I would just take some quick video while I did this. So. All right, see ya. All right, well, things aren't good after replacing the chamber heater parts. Uh, I can't get any print to start properly. This is my third try. I think it's just grinding the nozzle right into the plate and it can't extrude. Also, the chamber heater fan is way louder than I remember and higher pitched. So. I have no idea how this is related to the chamber heater circuitry, um, but it's calibrated the Z-height several times and it just won't work properly. So I've got a bigger project on my hands, unfortunately. All right, just following up on my video about the chamber heater replacement, uh, I did get the printer to print, print properly again. I don't know why the Z offset was so messed up after changing the chamber heater, maybe just from moving the printer around, but I had to uh, just adjust the offset manually until it printed well. So right now it's printing a little camera mount that I make for a specific security camera. Kind of looks like this, it has this neat little TPU cable seal. Um, I'm still annoyed with the sound of the chamber heater fan, so maybe I'll have to look into that at some point. And the other thing that was problematic is I uh, updated the firmware uh, to the latest version at 1.6 something, and uh, it actually limits the chamber heater to 40% power. So it takes like 20 minutes for the chamber to heat up, and it won't uh, activate the chamber heater until the build plate is first heated up. So it really takes a long time. Now I did find that that 40% uh, duty cycle uh, limitation on the chamber heater can be changed. And so I'm going to show you that really quickly um, in the uh, config settings for the printer. All right, so uh, sorry for recording a screen with my phone. I know that's going to annoy some people that I'm not actually screen recording. But let's see, we want to go to... I think settings, and no, that's not right. Oh, here we go, configuration. So you go to configuration, you click on printer.cfg, and then it is, let's see here, there it is. So line, at least for me, it's line 267 max power. This was set to 0.4, which was 40%, and I just changed it to 0.6 to get 60% uh, chamber heater power. I will probably experiment with that. Maybe I'll release another video about that specifically to see what the maximum safe setting is at. So anyways, that's the, uh, that's the chamber heater update placement and we're back to printing again so I'm happy with that. But hopefully that helps somebody and I'll catch you next time.